Good morning, this is Nick from Pressman Auto doing a video walkthrough of our 2017 Ford Expedition. So what I'm going to do is we're going to walk all the way around, check for any dents, scratches, any kind of blemishes on the outside. Then we're going to go inside, go over some of the features, make sure everything's working properly. And then finally I'll pop the hood so we can evaluate a little bit in the engine bay. So first impressions, this thing's actually really, really solid. Normally you'd expect to see a little bit of rock chipping up here in the front, but aside from needing a bath, it looks like I mean, it's really, really solid. So let's start going around and see if there's anything we can find. If I do see anything, I'll be sure to stop in, get a good visual, make sure you know everything going on. But so far, aces. Tires on here still have loads of life left in them, so that's fantastic. Now obviously it does need a bath, but all this stuff is coming off, just dirt. So no sweat there. <laughs> if there are any scratches or anything, I'll be sure that you know about it. But so far, not anything. So we're using the key fob to open it. This one also has remote start, which is pretty sweet. And then obviously you just have all of the space. It's, it's an expedition, so it's got a big old car. Over here, drop the seats. And pick them back. So cool, cool stuff. And then of course you can also close it down here. Sweet. Got your tow hitch down there, which is fantastic. All right, looks like there is some little bit of paint chipping right up in here. So nothing crazy, but good to know nonetheless. And yeah, as far as the exterior goes, I give it a clean nine and a half out of 10. This thing looks really, really well taken care of. So let's see if we can find the interior. Oh, nice. Cool. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on, obviously, but when I do, I'm gonna leave the camera up here on the dash. That way, um, if there's any kind of warning lights or anything popping up, you'll be the first to know. So I'm gonna do it up here, actually. Let's check it out. Cool. So it looks like we got two warning light lights up right now. The first is my seatbelt light, which is correct. I am not wearing my seatbelt. And the other is the fuel light, which is also correct. <laughs> We're low on fuel. But other than that, everything looks super, super solid up there. As far as interior features go, you have a lot. So I'm going to kind of speed blitz it a little bit, but we will still press all the buttons. So you got AC seats, which are really nice. You got heated seats, which are also really nice. Up top, you're going to have all your controls. You can control the volume and whatnot. Four-wheel drive. Up here, you're going to have all of the things. <laughs> Sweet stuff. Check out the vehicle up there. Yeah, your door pad, your displays, voice control, your audio, the climate. So you got all kinds of cool stuff. Speaking of, let's make sure the AC is working just fine. Very much so, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's check the audio. Nice. <laughs> All right, yeah, so your audio is extremely good. <laughs> a little louder than I thought it was gonna be, so that's great. Windows roll down, windows roll up, windows roll down, and up. Up top, you're also going to have your sunroof, which is really freaking cool. I'm a big fan of sunroofs, so that's pretty sweet. Down here, you're gonna have your plugins as well as a bunch of extra space, and on and on and on. You got all kinds of stuff to play with over here. Move your mirrors around. Other side as well. Sweet. So as far as the interior quality goes, it looks honestly probably better than it should. For a 2017, this thing looks extremely good. I'm not seeing any rips, any tears, really barely any wear at all. So that's really impressive actually. <laughs> so for the sake of time, we'll probably call that there. Let's pop the hood, we'll evaluate a little bit in the engine bay, and then that should be good for our video.
before. All right. So I don't know how mechanically inclined you are or aren't, but in either case, you should always look under the hood of any vehicle you're looking to buy. The reason being, even if you don't know anything about cars, you do know what neglect looks like. So if there's acid buildup all around the battery, there's all this green crud around there, it's like spider webs and junk all in here, then you should probably, you know, ask some more questions. <laughs> that being said, just like the rest of the car, this looks extremely well taken care of. So if you are more mechanically inclined, we can go into a little bit more detail, but for the sake of time, we'll keep this video pretty user friendly. Suffice to say, when you pop the hood of an engine bay, this is exactly what you wanna see. So if you have any more questions or there's anything more specific that you would like to see, let me know. I'm happy to show you anything on here. But for now, this is your new expedition.